I'm Songyang Longast. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you how to make LARP. LARP. <laughs> if I didn't pronounce right, right, please let me know because I'm pretty sure I didn't. <laughs> so, anyways, it's okay because I have a strong accent anyway so who cares right so let's get started it's super simple and easy to make all the ingredients are super simple too the first thing is first we will need a pound of good quality of ground pork or chicken you can use chicken as well so I'm going to just squeeze one fresh lime onto the pork the lime is really depending on how juicy it is. If it's a super juicy lime, just add half of it. But my lime is not quite juicy, so I add the whole entire one. And just a little pinch of white pepper. You can use black pepper as well, but I'm just going to use white pepper this time and mix everything together. You don't need a salt at this stage because we are going to make really pungent, salty, savory, sweet, delicious dressing later on. All right, my pork is done, so I'm going to just set aside while I'm preparing the vegetables. So I'm going to slice a one shallot in this slice. If you don't have a shallot, you can use red onion as well. And I'm going to chop one green onion and a handful of cilantro. And if you don't like cilantro, you can definitely use a parsley or a basil instead. Those will work beautifully too. But in my opinion, cilantro is must. And now I'm just going to put them together and then roughly chop it. And set aside with other vegetables. And now time for the mint. Oh my gosh, mint in this dish is amazing and so refreshing. I'm just going to um, take all the leaves out from the mint. And the mint I have today, they are really small and tender. But if your mint is kind of big and uh, tough, then you probably want to slice or chop it a little bit. All right, now we are going to cook the pork and put it everything else together. How easy and quick is this, right? Heat a wok or a large skillet over high heat. Add a tablespoon of cooking oil and add the pork. Stir fry until they are fully cooked and golden brown. About seven to nine minutes. You should not be able to see any juice. The juice is supposed to be all evaporated. Now turn off the heat and add one tablespoon of palm sugar. You can use regular sugar too, but I just love this palm sugar flavor in this dish. It just makes extra authentic. I decided to add palm sugar into the hot pour since palm sugar is harder to break down. So that way it will melt down more quicker and faster and incorporates with other ingredients much better. So now let's put everything together in a mixing bowl. I'm going to add three tablespoons of fish sauce and fresh juice from two juicy limes. Mix them together. Now it's time to add cooked pork and add all these vegetables we prepared earlier and some dried Thai chili flakes. You can get this easily at Asian grocery store, but if you're having a hard time finding this, you can use any other type of red pepper flakes. But remember, this is super spicy, <laughs> and I like my LARP super spicy. <laughs> I'm going to add about two to three teaspoons of this chili flakes. It's really depending on my mood of spice food that day. Mm, I think I'm feeling some spicy today, so I'm gonna add three and a half teaspoon. I don't know if Jacob will be happy with that, but I don't care. And about a tablespoon of toasted jasmine rice powder. It's super easy to make, and this is how I did. Heat any size of skillet over medium heat. Add a tablespoon of uncooked jasmine rice into the dry pan. Toast the rice until they are nice golden brown about 10 to 15 minutes. You need to keep swirl the pan around and stir the rice so the rice will toast evenly. When the rice is brown like this, then put it into a molder or a spice grinder. And pound and grind until your desired uh, fineness. I like a 
little bit fine and a little bit chunky inside so I can have a little this crunchy bite and same time this nutty flavor some people like really really fine almost like a powderish and some people like really really chunky so it's up to you add it into the mixing bowl I'm gonna leave it a little bit here so I can decorate it later and now all we have to do is just mix it It's a great timing to taste your LARP and see if you need more saltiness, sweetness, or sourness. To me, this is just perfect. <laughs> Let's serving on the serving plate. And I also put little cucumbers around because I figured the cucumber is so refreshing while you're eating this LARP. For the last touch, I'm just going to put this remaining toasted rice powder. This dish is amazing appetizer or main dish if you serve it with a bowl of rice. <laughs> oh my god like literally omg is so good mm, mm, mm. guys you've got to try this it is way too good to not try so delicious i'm gonna die <laughs> If you liked my LARP recipe, give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching me today and remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Songgyung Longast and this is Asian at Home and I will see you next time. Bye!